So each player will have a good idea what type of training they'll be doing on any given day. So their meals will be catered towards that. So on a, on a pitch-based day, uh, they'll have porridge for breakfast, some berries, and they'll probably have a smoothie as well. So it's a good source of carbohydrate there. Uh, and the carbohydrate from oats uh, provides a sustained supply of energy. So it's, it's perfect for a breakfast option. Later in the day then, um, after training, they'll, uh, they'll have a recovery shake. And a recovery shake will incorporate some fresh fruit, might be some probiotic yogurt, uh, there'll be some whey protein in there, and uh, maybe some milk. The most important uh, fueling day leading into a game is actually the day before. So 36 to 24 hours out, it's really important that the guys start to carbohydrate load or increase the amount of carbohydrate they're, they're consuming leading into the game. They could eat as much as twice the amount of carbohydrate uh, on, a, on the day before a game versus the actual day of the game. The first phase of recovery is really important. Um, they've done you know, a significant volume of, of work uh, and their muscles are fatigued and sore, so they do need to get a source of fast-acting carbohydrate. Um, something that's even sugary at that time is absolutely fine. Good source of protein, so we do use the, the 2 one recovery straight after, after games. Um, then they may have a, a smoothie and then a light meal. And then if they want, uh, they, can, they can go for their pizza then if they want. I, I, I would say that if there was a time to have something that they shouldn't, that's probably the time to do it. I think from you know, having a day where they eat some ice cream, they go for a pizza, they have an Indian or wh whatever that choice might be, I, I don't have a major issue with that. Um, and I, I think that the odd time that they do it, it's, it's good for the mind. Uh, it's good to, yeah, it is good to let go. But I think everything has to be pretty calculated. It has to be within reason. If in any way that I, I thought that it would affect their performance, um, or if, if they thought it would affect their performance, that's something that they shouldn't be doing. There is an awareness now that if they stay in better shape in the off-season, the pre-season is going to be that much easier. So it, even in particular this um, this off-season, uh, the guys came back in, in, in good shape. Some of them even came back um, very, very similar to when they left. So that was, it was great. It, was, it makes life so much easier for them to, to achieve their targets. But, you know, they do have to have a holiday. It's an intense, it's a long season. So, um, you know, they do need to blow off a bit of steam. Uh, they, can, they can really do a lot of what they want to do for a couple of weeks. Um, and then towards the tail end of it, they start to kind of tailor it back.